next question. Uh, what are, what were the questions asked in the interview? Uh, did you get any specific questions? They want to know, like, they want to know if you're a right fit for the job, right? Because they're really concerned, like, will you be able to work with kids? Do you know how to work with kids? Are you patient? Do you know how to play with them? Do you know how to uh, calm them down? Do you know how to solve problems? Do you know how to be safe, how to make sure that your classroom is safe, right? Because you have to understand that um, the industry, major, one of the major concerns, like, forget about the English, the, the first concern everyone has in China, like when it comes to early childhood education is safety, right? Safety is number one, right? So when parents send their kids to training center or to grade one or to kindergarten, they want to make sure the child is safe. That's it, right? So they do ask a lot of questions about um, how are you with kids? Like, what do you do? Like, so be prepared, be prepared to uh, tell them story. Yeah, you know what? I actually, uh, you know, I was uh, cheering like 15 kids back home. You know, they would come to my house every Friday, you know, we played games, like did this, puzzles, did some crafts, something like that. Yeah. Okay. And um, I what's, just wanted to question, say, yeah. what's the age of the kids you've been working with? Since I've been here, um, I went anywhere from like toddlers, two years to like eight, nine, ten. I, I did kindergarten, I did primary school, I did middle school. I still combine both, right? Like my primary job right now um, is uh, kindergarten, so I'm teaching five, six. But I also do uh, grade one, grade two, grade three on a part-time basis. Yeah, I did oh, some. Nice. I did. Um, I did some. Uh, I did some training for. Um, we did um for air china it was like a temporal thing so we did like a flight attendants and uh stewards we did that too with adults okay so um it's it's actually possible to work with uh adults as well not not only I understand, I understand. Yeah, I mean, you can work like oil gas uh like the, the the air um you know the, the airlines that's a huge industry yeah. And what about some online opportunities? Are there any online uh, teaching jobs uh, in China, like av available for people who actually stay somewhere else? There, there is, but uh, I think uh, this market is a bit overcrowded, right? Because right now, like, no, obviously there is um, not too many in-class teachers. So in a lot of, it, the, the market was overcrowded before the pandemic, right? Because you will have a lot of part timers from across the globe, right? You have some. Uh, I had some friends from states doing that, like you know, at night time. I had some friends from Italy doing that, and um, I, uh, to be honest with you, like I'm not really interested in online teaching. Like I, I didn't do a lot of research, but from what I heard, um, <clears throat> the wages are not that great, right? And uh, but I, I'm sure there's still opportunities there. But Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.